Hello, good evening everyone, nice seeing you all again. I just wish to do a quick recap on last week and then move on today in relation to the Board of Directors. What we did last week, if you recall, in relation to corporate governance, we spoke about the duties of directors, number one, number two, and the duties of shareholders. And the shareholders we defined as two different types, number one, individual, and number two, institutional. And as you know, with the various corporate scandals over the last number of years, institutional shareholders haven't spoken up, but now we see them being more vocal. And the most famous case of that was last year, uh, well actually 2008 and following on to 2009, Marks and Spencer, Sir Stuart Rose, where he was both chairman and CEO and under the corporate code of governance, that is not suitable and doesn't meet with their particular requirements. Today, as I mentioned, um, just going into the board of directors, and what I want to talk about today is basically the board structure. And as you can see from the notes here, we have two types, unitary board number one and a two-tier number two. And basically with the unitary board, it's one single board and it's composed of directors number one, which are called executive directors, and number two, non-executive directors. And the distinction is very important to know because effectively directors are employees of a company, whereas non-executive directors are actually service contractors and they have various duties and responsibilities. So that's very important to know. The two-tier then, the second type I just made reference to earlier on, is commonly used in France and Germany. And they have what's called a management board and a supervisory board. And the management board are, consists exclusively of executive directors and the supervisory board are non-executive directors. And you might ask the question, well, James, why are they, you know, why are there two different models? I mean, they have the same people on the, on the various boards. That is true. However, the difference is, with the German and French model, it, it, the purpose of it is to avoid conflicts of interest in the one boardroom. But we'll talk about that at a later date. 